Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. I'm gonna put some epic music on because the toads are finished. The final toad is complete and I could not be more happy with it and I just feel really good about this and I'm very thankful to everybody for being patient because uh, I kind of put some of the pimp jobs in the back seat uh, while I did this just because for me this is like probably one of the most important things that I'll be that I've ever done and uh, I just wanted everything to be perfect and uh, I didn't want to have to struggle with uh, putting the you know splitting the time between the two I mean I have done that but you know but I'm just really thankful people like uh, Paul with your lums man uh, smoke eater Carter freaking uh, Riley I can name off like a thousand people but seriously guys uh, really appreciate the patience and understanding for what this is so my toad and uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with placement of logos guys so they don't look good here this is mine so I just testing them out I'll just refinish the blade doesn't look good here uh, too small there and I just don't like the idea of putting it on the tang up here in the pry I just feel like it looks like a flag or something you know like some like cheesy little like tough knives hello you know like waving to you it's a good size for it so probably gonna be put them on the pocket clips like on this guy here right in that large area I don't want it to take over uh, everything so that further ado guys tough toad number five war toad full armored steampunk edition fallout got your acid dip parsley Partially, the rest is shiny on the bottom here. You got your bronze, gold screws. Gold gashes in it. This one because it's titanium steel and titanium it's blue then then just the regular burn color and then blue again it's really cool This is by far my favorite uh, out of all of them. I just love this one. I mean, it's a toss up for me between this guy and this guy. I, mean, I love these two. This one's awesome. Love this one too, but yeah, this one just takes the cake for me. Not to mention, it was the most work out of all of them, so probably gonna be a little bit more on the site. Dark gold between the uh, shiny dark gold looks really cool.
must be the wrong grain there. This one's so bad, guys. So you're gonna have to compete with me when they go up. I'm gonna buy it. No, I'm kidding. But, uh, it's really cool. There's like a mirror finish, like a slight, like a real higher polish down the bottom here. And it's darker at the top, like acid dipped. I don't really like these. I'm gonna be doing this a lot on some other stuff. Clip's got a. Oh, where's my flashlight at? Oh, I guess my headlamp. Just a little bit of, a little bit of fun there, underneath the clip. it up there on uh, some moon glow anyway guys thanks for watching I'm gonna be doing a video probably later tonight um, kind of get you know you guys know I get these uh, high-end knives in and stuff that aren't mine sometimes they are mine um, and uh, with permission from the owners you know I'm going to take them apart and show you the inner workings I guess uh, so you know whenever I get something like this something that you will never see apart, most likely. Um, I'm just gonna very carefully and gently, you know, take it down completely, look at all the parts, you know, just on camera. This one's got the two piece. I mean, I'm just very interested to know how this thing works, so. So I'll be doing that maybe tonight, probably tomorrow morning, uh, but, you know. The thing I know about this, Everybody's like, oh, it's a mid-tech, whatever, but there's something about this that I love. Uh, the grind is definitely done by, by Todd Begg. Um, you can tell it's a beautiful grind, but you can see there's a slight, dips down slight right there. You know, it's not the same, and then you notice the grind is not completely perfectly even, so it comes up a little farther right there and there. That doesn't bug me one bit at all. I, I like to see the that uh, this was actually done by the maker. I mean, this grind is perfection, so this makes no difference whatsoever. But it's really cool. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of the uh, the final toad. I mean, it's still got that fallout, like kind of kind of fifties, nineteen fifties feel to it. And it looks very steampunk right here with all the screws. It's all teched out right there. I love it. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Pimpin's coming. Later.